Hi class, welcome back for great. It's super nice that you are here again. Um, today we're going to start by doing a review about the activities that we did yesterday. Remember that yesterday we were doing some activities in the workbook and we review about the topic how many that as you can remember this is used to make questions to ask about, about quantity etc but you have two options to answer to this kind of questions you have uh, that you can answer using there were or there are depending if it's past tense or present tense for example, you know that there were is used when you want to talk about past. And you use there are when you are talking about present now, today. Okay? So, and then we have some questions with why. But today we're going to review about this because I think it, it wasn't clear enough. But here you have the examples. Uh, remember that you always need to pay attention to the questions if they are in past or in present so you can know to so you can know if you are going to answer um, there is there are or there were for example uh, we also did activities in pages 55 and 56 so we review about this it was the topic that we reviewed and then we did a reading activity reading time remember if you haven't sent this activity you can do it today you have time and you can send it today and tomorrow but please try to do it on time it's going to be super helpful for you and me please do it that way so today we're going to review like I told you about why and because as you can see these are two different words but how do I know when to use them? So, why, as you know, is used to ask questions. You always, when you always want to use why, it always needs to be at the beginning of the question, like every other W question word. It says that why is used to ask questions to know reasons. When you want to know the reason of something, uh, your question needs to start with why, okay? Why? Now, you have because. When do we use because? Because answers to why questions and explains the reason of something. So, if your question starts with why, you know that the answer needs to start with because. That's the only way that you can do it, okay? So, uh, every time, any time that you see a question beginning with why, you need to start your answer with because, okay? So, it may seem a little bit difficult, but you just need to remember that if your question starts with why, your answer needs to start with because, and that's it. They always go together. Now, uh, we have an example I only chose an example because I thought it was good enough. So it says, why are animals in danger? So uh, this is asking the reason of something. Why are animals in danger? Because people are taking them as pets. So in this answer, we are explaining the reason that we are asking in the question. Okay. It's easier than you think, okay? So, I think that we can go to the workbook pages 57 and 58 so we can see if we have more questions. If we have more questions, again, as always, you can send a message to me and tell me, teacher, I didn't get it. I don't understand what you say. So, um, let's see. In this page, page 57, we have an example in here, as always. Why are chimpanzees in danger? They're in danger because people are moving into their habitat. Okay, so I was telling you that your answers always needs to start with because. In this case, it is not starting with because, because they are telling us like the whole sentence, like, a long sentence 
For example, they are in danger because people are moving into their habitat. It's good too. So activity nine says, I have my workbook in here. So this is where I'm looking down. Number nine, activity nine says, why are they in danger? Follow each maze, then complete the dialogues. So I, you have four, four mazes and you need to follow one, two and three because the first one is already done. And this is for the Komodo dragons, the Indian condors, volcano rabbits and chimpanzees. So you need to follow the path so you can know if the answer is letter A, B, C or D. None of them is going to be used twice, okay? So if, your an if the answer was letter A, there is too much pollution. That's the cause why this animal is in danger. Letter B, they are killing them. That's the answer for Komodo dragons. Letter C, people are moving into their habitat. And letter D, they are getting sick and dying. Um, so, when you finish this activity, you need to circle this, um, whichever was the letter, and now you can go to the dialogues. Number one, it's already answered, so you can have it as, a, as an example. It says, why are Komodo dragons in danger? Of course, you can see that the question starts with why. Very good. Now you have the answer. They're in danger because, and then in this part, in this part or here in these boxes, you are going to write the cause why they are getting in danger. These are the causes, okay? You have four causes. Now you have letter A, letter C, and letter D free. Okay, so this is the only way that you are going to do them. Uh, in fact, it's the same that you are going to do. Why are Indian flamingos in danger? They're in danger because um, they're getting sick and dying. For example, I think. Page 58, activity 10 says, read and choose the correct answer. And you have one, two, three, and four. So, and you're going to read this, you need to understand if you don't know any word, you can find it on the internet, use the translator, or if you have your dictionary at home, try to use it as possible. So you're going to circle the correct answer or write it in the blanks. And that's it. Now we can go to activity 11 that says, listen and read, listen, read and complete. Which animals do people keep as pets? And in the box you have bumblebees, bumblebee habitats, pandas, predators, salamander, turtles, and wild. So this is called status in danger. And we're going to listen to this so you can complete this listen. Okay, so pay attention to it. If you want to listen to it again, do it. Workbook, page 58. Activity 11. Listen, read, and complete. Which animals do people keep as pets? Status, endangered. You can sometimes find bumblebee bats in caves in the forests of Myanmar and Thailand. However, there are now fewer than 6,000 left in the wild because farmers burn the trees where they live. Most red pandas live in China and the Himalayas, and they eat leaves. They hide in trees covered in red moss so that predators don't see their beautiful red fur. They're endangered. There are now fewer than 10,000 because people are destroying the bamboo forests. The Egyptian tortoise is very small. It's only 10 centimeters long. That makes it the smallest of its kind in the world. Many scientists believe there are only 7,500 left in the wild now because people keep them as pets. The Mexican walking fish lives on land and in water. It's called a fish, but it's really a type of salamander with small legs. Unfortunately, this strange fish is almost extinct. 
It lives in streams and ponds, but now its habitats are mostly polluted. Did you get all the answers? So, if there's something important that we need to learn in here, is this. Never keep a wild animal as pet, okay? Remember this always, always. So, that's it for today, kids. I hope this was really clear. If you have any questions about anything, send a message to me, and of course, as always, I will help you. Remember that, if we, that you need to send a picture of each activity, a picture of each page with your name and also the date. Send it to me and that's it. I'll see you tomorrow. Remember that tomorrow we have the Zoom meeting, the live class, and I'll meet you there. Please try to be on time so we can finish the activity pretty soon. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.